Today we're staying at a unique camping destination, and it's one that not many other RVers get to experience. We're staying on an alpaca ranch, high country alpaca ranch near Fence Lake, New Mexico to be exact. And we're staying here as part of, as part of the Harvest Host program. Now, if you don't know what the Harvest Host program is, it's farms, breweries, wineries, distilleries, museums have extra land and they allow people to come and camp on their property for free as long as you're a part of the Harvest Host program. Now the Harvest Host program is only $79 for a whole year. So if you stay at a Harvest Host location just three times in one year, you've essentially paid it off compared to staying in an RV park. There's a link in the description below if you wanna know more about the Harvest Host program. And we actually also offer a 15% off promo code, which you can find in the description to save you even more money on the already cheap membership. But let's go ahead and check this place out. So this is our site that John and Carolyn, our hosts, have allowed us to stay at. And for those of you that know us, we love boondocking and dry camping on remote areas in the National Forest and BLM land. And compared to that, this is great. It is so far off the beaten path here that there is no cell service. And it is dead quiet here. Nothing. And it is gorgeous. We're up in the high desert of New Mexico, so it's green. The vegetation is lush. It is beautiful here. Now our hosts here are so kind. We knew that we would have water hookups because that's what it said on the Harvest Host website, but once we arrived, they even offered us electrical hookups. We didn't see that coming, and it is incredibly nice of them because remember, we don't pay for this site. Just being a Harvest Host member allows us to stay here, so they're giving us free water and electric hookups. And that's not all. They even have satellite internet that they allow their guests to connect to. So even though there's no cell signal, you're still connected to the internet. I'm just blown away by how generous John and Carolyn are. And they don't only offer their property for harvest hosts, they're also on boondockers welcome. And they even have a bunkhouse that they rent out to people that don't RV, but still would like to experience their alpaca ranch as a vacation destination. And we've got a link in the description below to their bunkhouse uh, where you can, uh, it's a website that they rent their bunkhouse out on. So if you would like to check it out, it's in the description below. Now this part of the New Mexico high desert is gorgeous. They have, they have these shortish pine trees and some pine bushes and you can just smell the pine in the air. It is so serene, it is so peaceful, and they actually have a hiking trail on their property behind their house up to the top of the hill. It's about a mile long, I think, that they actually encourage you to go and check out so that you can immerse yourself in this foliage and in this beautiful area. But if you do go hiking up that hill, you're probably not gonna be alone. They have a lot of dogs on their farm and their dogs are so friendly and so well behaved and just love everybody that they'll probably follow you up on the trail. However, this is actually what they believe, or our host told us, ancient Anasazi land. And the reason they believe that is because every time it rains, they find little pieces of pottery. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> we were just walking down this little trail here and we found three little pieces of pottery. This is absolutely amazing. There's so much history here, and I could not even imagine what kind of stories they could tell us if we sat down with them and just wanted to talk about the pottery that they found throughout the years. They even have this little basket with all kinds of painted cool ones in their house that they keep. Now this right here is George. He's been hanging out with us and sleeping under our trailer. He cannot get enough of us and following us around. Now, all of their dogs are so incredibly well-behaved, they have got to be well-trained. They just come up to you, sit down, 
and give you their heads like, love me. <laughs> and Sweetie has already made friends with all of their dogs. Now, most of their dogs are actually Great Pyrenees. And because, the reason that most of them are Great Pyrenees is because they're excellent guard dogs for the pastures. And they actually have, I think, five dogs that are purely guard dogs in their pasture. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, but they're so cute. This is obviously a very pet-friendly environment. And now for the reason we came here, to see the alpacas. This is the female alpaca pen behind me, and we get to go inside and say hi. They're actually all very sweet, but this one and I are going to have a special bond forever. Because I bought a hat made out of her fur. <laughs> High Country Alpaca Ranch does also have a gift shop and what's really cool about it is the vast majority of things in here are actually made from alpaca wool. Some of it is imported from Peru like this, but some things are actually made from the alpaca wool from alpacas on site. So like the hat Jenny has 
she she was actually able to go and see the alpaca where that wool came from and they've also got some yarn that is from the alpaca on site too, too so those alpaca products from actual alpacas on the ranch is really cool so if you do come here please consider making a purchase because you know since the site is free this is a great way to support your hosts and i got these socks they are so warm they are dual layer and reversible love them this is the first time i've ever been able to meet alpaca alpacas alpacae i don't know what the plural is for alpaca but I, this is the first time i've ever been able to meet any pet them feed them by hand buy something knitted from their wool like this has been an amazing experience we have both have had an absolute blast staying here with the harvest host program and we cannot thank our hosts john and carolyn enough for opening up their land to the harvest host program and making this such a fun experience for us and if you again want to be a part of the harvest host program there is a link in the description below to where you can sign up for the harvest host program which is only 79 dollars a year but we do also have a 15 percent off promo code hh friends that you can use and that'll be listed in the description below as well but we have had a blast we are going to go ahead and eat some food while we enjoy the last night of our stay here at the alpaca farm so come on sweetie let's go